Hi, I'm John Dilatel, and I'm in the Monday night class for Education 104, taught by Dr. Rungi. I read for our YouTube book project, The Essential 55, an award-winning educator's rules for discovering the successful student in every child. This was written by Ron Clark, who is a fifth grade teacher from North Carolina. Um, he took over a classroom mid mid-year, and it was considered a disruptive classroom in a really struggling school district. When I first picked up the book, I was kind of expecting one of those corny rule books that elementary school teachers could use for their classroom, but really when I read it, it's not what the book entailed at all. This was way much more than that. I figured out quickly when reading this book that these weren't just rules for a fifth grade elementary school classroom. These were really rules for everyday life, no matter what the age. And when reading, I kind of gathered two really important topics that were reoccurring throughout the book that Mr. Clark demanded from his students. The first one is respectful. The first one is that they must be respectful, but they also must be responsible as well. He, de he demonstrated that being respectful and responsible can not only get you far in school and be successful in school, but it can get you far in life and successful in life as well. He gives a great example um, in the book, in the introduction of, actually it might have been rule one, of 12 students that were interviewing for a, a highly rated junior high school and to get in you must interview and be admitted because only so many students can be admitted. And he told them that no matter what, say yes ma'am and no sir to the interviewer when answering these questions. Well, in the end, all 12 got admitted, and uh, one of the biggest things the interviewer said was that his students were extremely respectful throughout the whole time. And so this is just one example that Mr. Lewis shows, but that if you're, respect you're respectful and you're responsible in life, that you really can get far. Um, I also wanted to highlight two rules throughout the book that I thought were, in my opinion, my favorite rules of the 55. Um, the first rule I thought was excellent was actually rule one. I know... Sounds cliche, pick rule one, but in my opinion, it was the it's the best way to establish a respectful relationship between students and teachers. Uh, this rule states that students must respond with yes ma'am, no sir, no ma'am, or yes sir, and no other form of yes or no is acceptable in the classroom, in the school, when talking to adults. I think this is so important because a big problem in schools today is teachers establishing their relationships with students and I think it's becoming where students don't look up to teachers anymore but rather look up to them as an equal or as a just as a friend and I think friendships with teachers and students need to be a lot different than friendships with students and peers so I think if you really establish I would guess a power by using the making your students use yes ma'am yes sir and so on that you really develop that relationship a lot differently than trying to be their friend right off the bat. The second rule that I thought was extremely uh, well written, I guess, and it was extremely valuable, was rule number 16 that stated that every student must turn in every homework assignment for every subject every day. Originally when I read it, I was like, it seems a little intense, a little too extensive that things happen. Students forget homework. They leave it on their table. They forget to do it. A mistake. I mean, that stuff does happen, but as I read through Mr. Lewis's explanation of the whole thing, I really, I really love the rule that if you, because if you really expect the best from your students and your students know the expectations are high for each and every thing that they do, they will try their best because it's human inclination to want to live up to people's expectations. You don't want to let people down. And he showed an example during this rule that if you, if a student did forget their homework, they did not only let themselves down, but they left, they, they let the teacher as well as the rest of the class down because it, it stopped their streak of successful, su consecutive days that the whole class turned in their homework. And out of all the rules, I did think that this was the rule that best demonstrated responsibility that Lewis expects from all students. After reading this book, it's this is definitely a book that I recommend for not just teachers and people wanting to be teachers, but rather anyone who's looking for a good book. Because these rules are definitely not just set for a fifth grade classroom, but rather they are set for everyday life. 